Hey everybody, I hope you're doing okay. It's been a while since I've been in my studio. It's been a week. I, uh, I had a festival last weekend and so the week prior to that I was getting ready for the festival. I did the big jewelry making video and I did a, a paint pour or two. So I didn't really post a lot last week and then the week before I was in Colorado visiting with family and taking a little time off and so whew, I haven't done much painting lately and my heart misses it. So I wanted to just sit down for a minute and just kind of share with you what's on my mind and what's going on in my life here lately and um, I'm sitting in my studio. Uh, this is where I teach my classes in this room and it's full of paint pours and then I have my gallery which is right next door which I have a connecting door and um, I've got my gallery pieces in there all the larger pieces and more of the intentional art so um, things are going really well and I am so grateful to have over 55,000 almost 56,000 subscribers um, I never would have dreamed that I would have that many subscribers starting last December. So I've been uh, doing the YouTube thing now for 14 or 15 months or so and I just want to say a huge thank you and a shout out to all my subscribers and loyal followers. And um, just to give you a little bit of background about me. I, I don't remember if I've shared in the past, but even if I have, I have 450 plus videos. And so I know that a lot of people don't see every video I've posted and you've missed videos maybe where I've talked a little bit more about myself. So I wanted this to be a video where I just shared a little bit more about me in the video. So my grandfather was an artist and so I watched him paint as a small child and that's what sparked the initial love of art when I was a small girl. And he died when I was probably about 12 years old. I would like to say that the artistic gene is carried on through him and into me. And I credit God for the talent I have. I'm pretty much self-taught. I did take a class or two about 25 years ago at a community college in Charlotte and I took a drawing class and a color theory class and uh, an oil painting class which I did not care for at all because oil painting is extremely difficult compared to acrylic painting because the paint does not dry quickly for you. So I pretty much started about over, it was well over 20 years ago in a small town called Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And I started by just painting for friends and family. And then I connected with several of the decorators in that town. And from that point on, I had a very thriving decorative art business. So I did faux finishes on walls, murals, trompe l'oeil, which is French for full of the eye. So like I would paint a fake door or a fake window on someone's wall with a scene in it. And I loved doing things like that. And I painted furniture children's rooms. I painted on fabrics for decorators. I painted drapery hardware. You name it, I painted on it. Uh, I've painted on pretty much anything that didn't move. Painted on the outsides of people's homes to look like faux stone and things like that. So I did that for almost 18 or 19 years in Rocky Mount. And through that period of time, I raised two boys who are now 31 and 27. And um, I have to say that that has been one of my issues that has been a real struggle for me for over 15 years with my older son. It's just been um, very difficult. And uh, 
He is a recovering addict. He's clean, but it's just been a very difficult relationship. And uh, I've been drained financially by him multiple times in the last five to seven years or so. And he's he's got some issues he needs to work through. And I've had to uh, really nip that relationship in the bud because it has emotionally and financially drained me. And so that is one of the significant reasons why I paint and why I have been an artist for this long is because it's my passion and it's also my therapy. It's very healing for me because when I paint, I escape all my issues that I worry about in life. Uh, all the, the trauma and the sadness and sorrow that I've been through, it kind of just disappears when I paint. And so this is something I have done for, for a long, long time. And uh, I'm grateful for my two sons, but I, I just can honestly say that uh, the issues with my older son has just been nightmares at times. And uh, it's an ongoing battle. And so uh, if you are a praying person, I covet your prayers for me and my son because uh, I'm going to have to just distance myself from that situation and let him grow up and become a man. And I also, uh, we went through a divorce I, uh, in that time frame of everything going on with my older son. And my kids were in high, well, my younger son was in high school and uh, I went through a divorce and that was pretty difficult as an artist, a struggling artist. I managed to pay my bills and uh, move on with life, but that was a very difficult time for me. And I eventually met someone, uh, a, a beautiful soul, and he came into my life about um, 10 years ago. And he had terminal cancer, and we did not live in the same cities, and we dated for several years. And I actually kind of became his caregiver and fell in love with him and uh, went to all of his doctor appointments and he also did uh, therapy and uh, trials in Houston at a hospital there for his cancer, which was a very rare terminal cancer. And uh, so I went through all that with him and we married and he passed away in 2012. And that was very traumatic as well for me, even though I felt like I was in his life for a reason. And I know that it was a God thing that uh, we were put together to, um, to help each other. And so I went through that as well. And again, my art and my faith, my art was what really kept me from staying sane because I was also going through issues with my eldest son at that same time frame that was very traumatic. Art has really kept me centered, focused, balanced, uh, healthy in my mind. And um, I discovered with the YouTube channel that people were telling me that my art and my videos were very therapeutic for them. And I've had so many comments from people about it helping them with their depression or if they hadn't painted in years, they had the desire to paint again, that kind of thing. I've had countless emails of stories of other mothers and people that have been through kind of the same issues with um, children in their lives that have been addicts and that kind of thing. And so I've really felt this huge and strong connection with my followers uh, in that same direction of going through traumatic times and things like that. And I do get the same story from other people that art is kind of their healing. So I really feel like the YouTube channel has opened a brand new door for me in order to 
share my gift with you, hopefully inspire you, and maybe there's something that I say that might lift you up or encourage you, or it might just strike a chord with you that we've kind of been through the same thing. So I've really, this past week when I was, I stayed in bed quite a bit this past week. I had some issues with vertigo, which only hits me rarely. And my heart was hurting and I just laid low and took some time to rest and pray and think about the direction that I want my life to go. And I'm remarried. I remarried five years ago and my husband is Greg and he's the one that you've seen sometimes in the background of my videos or heard his voice or he moderates uh, auctions for me or that kind of thing. And I'm very blessed to have Greg in my life. He is a huge supporter of me. He's my biggest fan and I love him dearly. He's got two children that are in their 20s and late 20s and I have two granddaughters. His oldest son has two baby girls, a baby, a new baby girl and a two-year-old girl. And then his daughter is finishing up her last year in Pueblo, Colorado. So together we have a blended family of four grown children. I've been very blessed to have Greg in my life and we've been talking about, you know, different things that I want to do and pursue with my art and that kind of thing. And I'm in a Christian mentoring group that I've been in for two years that I've been very involved with. And I'm also a mentor in that program to a lot of other artists. And they're not, they're not just painters. They are writers and uh, fiber artists and sculptors and photographers and all kinds of creatives. They're not just painters. And um, we do a monthly or twice a month Skype call where I Skype with this group of people. We'll do, you know, six or seven people in a Skype call and we'll talk about how our art journey is going, how, how our emotional journey is going, and we discuss with each other pros and cons of things that are happening, and we give advice. I give advice on how to pursue um, uh, your career as an artist if you're just a hobbyist and you want to take it to the next level, and so trying to give a lot of advice and help kind of push people out of their nest of comfort into the next step of their journey because they want to take their art very seriously and take it to the next level. So I'm helping mentor those people and I'm signed up to uh, speak and teach classes at the conference in Orlando that's coming up. It's the uh, Pouring Artist International First Paint Pouring Conference ever in Orlando and that's August 30th to September 2nd. I'll be teaching classes there on fluid art. And then I'm also, my mentor has a conference in Asheville, North Carolina in October that's already booked up. And I'm one of the teachers there for the weekend. So I've got a couple of those things lined up and, um, you know, I offer classes here. But my heart really is about helping teach people how to express themselves through color and creating and playing. And uh, I, I think we're so often times hard on ourselves. We're not, we're not gracious to ourselves. I've been a Christian most of my life and I felt very imperfect. Uh, I felt very flawed. I felt like I had a lot of uh, faults and I felt like I had let myself down as being a parent and things like that because of the issues with my son and you know, just a lot of self-condemnation, a lot of self-doubt. Uh, you know, as an artist, you often doubt whether you have the abilities that other artists have or, you know, if you're going to be successful at, or, at it or that kind of thing. And so being in this mentoring program has really helped me to um, be more confident in who I am 
and what I was create, created to be. And uh, that has been just priceless to me, to, to be encouraged in that direction to create from a place of my heart. <clears throat> and um, so I do the YouTube thing, and I do it regularly, and I'm going to continue to do that. But I was really thinking this past week about how I would like to take it to the next level. And I really, really, as an artist, I just want to create. I am just in my happy place when I'm creating. And I want to do fluid art, and I want to do regular painting where I paint birds and flowers and things like that, abstracts. I want to, there's so much that I want to paint. And I had decided that I wanted to start online tutorials. And I did put out my first online tutorial, which is in the link below the video. Uh, there is a link there over to a, a page. It's called, um, it's Thinkific, and it's for Sandra Lett. And I did my first tutorial about how to start your own YouTube channel. And I know that most of you out there have a YouTube channel because you had to create a YouTube account in order to watch YouTube videos and comment and subscribe to channels and things like that. You had to cre create a Google U YouTube account. But some people that are just doing painting for a hobby want to take it to the next level and they don't really know how to do it. And YouTube is a great platform for people to make an additional source of income, you have to have a certain amount of subscribers before they approve you. And then once they approve you, you get paid a very small percentage from the ads that Google runs on your channel. And so that has supplemented me a little bit in order to help with supplies and it actually uh, helps pay for my studio. And so I have this studio that I can teach people in, but I really, really want to continue filming tutorials, but I don't want to cut out every step of the video and try to shorten it and, and speed it up to a 10 minute video because there are people out there that really want to know how to paint. And so that's really what I want to do in addition to my regular YouTube videos where it is fast forwarded through, you know, the mixing up part and things like that. I want to do tutorials where I go through step by step and you get to see every step of what I'm doing to learn exactly how to do it. And I also want to you know, teach people how to paint beautiful flowers and birds and koi fish and those things that I love to paint, octopus and, you know, just giraffes, dogs, things like that. I love doing artwork like that. So I want to provide people with another way to learn how to paint through me. And so I'm kind of, I'm toying with the idea of do I offer it through my YouTube channel or I'm leaning more towards doing the online classes to where you pay a, a fee for the class and you have a lifetime access to it and what you can do is you play the tutorial in the comfort of your home and you can paint along with me step by step as I paint whatever that subject is for that tutorial. And then I've also thought, and here's where I want some feedback from you. I would love for you to comment below this video and I may even put, post a poll. I've never posted a poll, but you can, there's some way for me to post a poll and poll whether you would like for me to you know, continue to do my, tutorials, which could be anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours on a video. Do you want them on YouTube or do you want them in an online class where you have a lifetime access and I can provide 
the list of materials. I can explain everything in detail. I can um, possibly even, you know, give you a template that you can print out to trace something on a canvas or whatever we're painting on for that project. So I can I can provide more stuff like that in an online tutorial situation than I can through YouTube. It's a little easier on an online platform because I can provide documents and PDFs and that kind of thing that you can also print out and use and all that. And then my other thought was there are artists out there that that do the um, the online teaching and they offer a membership fee where you pay a monthly membership and then you have access to any tutorial that I may post. So you don't have to purchase the tutorials one by one, but you have access to every tutorial that I put online in that forum. I'm not saying it's the YouTube videos. I'm saying this would be another online scenario where you would um, pay a monthly fee. It might be $30 a month or something like that. And it might be where you pay $30 a month. And so that's $360 for the year. And if you purchase a year, it might be a discounted price of Three hundred and twenty-five. You know, you save a little bit if you purchase everything in a lump sum of a year, or you purchase it month by month. But then you have access to every tutorial that I will upload in that program. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of do I do membership like that, where you have access to any online tutorial that I do in that program. Or do I just do online tutorials where each tutorial has its own set price? And, um, and these tutorials would be anything from the very beginner basics of like regular acrylic painting. Let's just say I'm going to teach you how to do what you would do maybe at a paint and wine class that uh, a starry night painting that takes maybe an hour or so to paint and I charge $45 and you take that class and you pay that one-time fee and you have lifetime access to that one tutorial. Or there would be in a more advanced class where I teach you how to paint a, a full landscape and that class might be a three or four hour class and it's $125 to do a landscape painting. The prices would be kind of appropriate for the time and length of the style of painting that I'm teaching you. So that's an option as to where each class would be individually charged. And uh, so, yeah, my question is, would people be more interested in something like that where they get to pick and choose the classes that, that they would like to take? Because you might be a total beginner and you might want to start at the beginning level and you know work your way through. Or you might be already an intermediate painter who can do a certain amount, but you would like to learn how to do more on the higher end of the upper level of painting skills. So you wouldn't be interested in the, the beginner and the intermediate stuff you might be interested in the upper level of painting. So I'm just kind of toying around with some ideas or do I just keep it all on the YouTube channel and it's there for everyone and the, the video is anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours because I do have people on YouTube that will complain that my videos are too long or that I talk too much or they don't need to see this part or that part. And that's kind of a little disheartening when you're an artist trying to share your knowledge with people. So I'm trying to, to, to decide what better serves you, my audience, my followers, my subscribers. So possibly I'll post a poll if I can figure out how to do it. 
And uh, I do have a channel membership that's $4.99 a month that um, has always kind of been available. There's a join button that's below the video. And I think I'm going to do away with that because YouTube makes it very hard to communicate with your subscribers. There's no way for me to look at a subscriber that's listed in my group of subscribers. I have 55,000 people. There's no way for me to put that person's name in and get an email address. So there's no way for me to contact an individual subscriber unless I somehow know you or if I somehow know you through my Facebook group or something like that and I know who your YouTube profile is as compared to who you are on Facebook. That's the only way I know how to contact people. So YouTube makes it very difficult to communicate with people through the through you know you as a subscriber as my follower I don't have your email I have no access to it I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do this uh, to where I can make everybody happy and I'm really interested in knowing how many people are interested in me teaching online classes and how you would like to see me kind of do that. I may start with a paid class, post my first paid class, and I am going to be promoting one class that I filmed in January at, at my mentor studio in Asheville, North Carolina. So I didn't film it here in my studio. It was filmed with my mentor, and he is going to promote it this month in uh, Facebook. And when he does, then when it goes live, I will share it with you on YouTube. And that one is going to be kind of separate from what I'm planning on doing as Sandra Lett, the artist. I'm still Sandra Lett on Facebook with him, but he filmed it in his studio. And so it's he's partially owner of that tutorial and that will be separate from the videos that I promote. So that is coming out sometime this month and I will keep you notified when that is released so that you have the opportunity to uh, see it because when we promote it we're going to offer probably a free painting you know for everybody that signs up for it we're going to have like a 48 hour period or something like that where whoever signs up for it gets some added bonus of some sort with the video and someone will have the opportunity, one person will have the opportunity to win a free painting or, or whatever the case may be. So that's coming up in May this month and I'm real excited about that. It might be towards the end of the month so I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm, I'm trying to decide what best serves you, my followers, and my subscribers. If I want to teach you more painting tutorials, like really how to paint, including the fluid art, I still want to continue to do fluid art videos because that's really my passion and I'm loving it, but I also really love just painting real things and whimsical things. Um, I love to paint something realistically, and I love to paint it more whimsically, more bohemian style. I love doing abstracts. That's something I have done less of than anything is abstracts, but I definitely want to paint more abstract paintings. So there's so much that I want to paint and teach on videos. So I would really appreciate your feedback and what you're interested in seeing me do or what you think would be the best suited for the audience. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I wanted to share. Uh, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to discontinue the channel membership. I think that was confusing to a lot of people. People thought they were going to have to pay $4.99 a month to see my videos and that's not true. That's not what the channel membership was about. It was about offering a, a private video to just the channel members, a once a month video, and I have done that the last few months, but unless I have someone's email, I have no way to contact them and to, to give them the link to the private video. 
So YouTube just does not provide a good source of communication with subscribers. So I'm going to do away with that. But if you would like to support me, because it is, it is expensive to do this and I'm doing what I love, but this past year I broke even on my taxes. I spent as much on my supplies and my video equipment and getting into a studio and everything. I spent as much as I made last year. So it does cost a lot of money and it takes a lot of time to do a video for you, to edit it and to post it and upload it to YouTube. It takes quite a, a bit of time. So, and also if you are interested in starting a YouTube channel, if you think that you, you know, would like to do that, I do have a tutorial and it is in the link below the video. If you would like to, you know, click on it and purchase it. It is a one-time purchase and then you have a lifetime access to it. And I, what I do is I show all of the behind the scenes on the, on the computer screen. I show you exactly everywhere that you need to click load your video and edit everything and, and all that for the YouTube background. There's a YouTube tutorial that I have created for that if you're interested. So I hope that this video made some kind of sense to you and I'm really um, asking for true heartfelt uh, advice and uh, what you think will work best and I really would love to share with you how to paint and uh, if you're interested in learning how to do that I want to hear from you in the comments below or you can always email me at Sandra at Sandra .com. so it's just Sandra at Sandra .com. Or if you can't remember that, just go to my website, Sandra Lett, and there is a contact box there that you can fill in your information. And I will get the email and I will email you back. I try to answer all my emails. So I hope that this makes sense and I really look forward to your feedback. I hope it's positive. I hope everybody has a fabulous week. I'm hoping I have a much better week this week than I did last week. So everybody take care and I'm going to get busy painting. I have not done any painting in a while and I'm going to do some painting today. So I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.